Guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jason. This is Old Car Auto Guy. And I want to start this video out first and foremost by saying Merry Christmas. Yes, that's right. I am a believer in saying Merry Christmas. But for those of you who aren't, Happy Holidays. Either way, I wish you all the best over this season. And I hope that you get to spend time with your family and uh, some friends and everybody stays safe. Guys, we're about to start a video on the brake repair on bubbles, so stay tuned. So this time I'm gonna to remember to use the hoist extenders on this hoist because last time I broke my exhaust. So first things first, we gotta get the wheel off and get them brakes apart. And we still got lots of brake pad. There we go. So one thing that I wanna show you while we've got the wheel apart in here is this subframe. And on camera it doesn't show up very well, but there is a small little hole and a crack developing right there. And if we come over to this side, you'll see there's a hole there. Now, when we look at the other side of the vehicle, it's going to be the same thing. So it's this subframe is the reason why this vehicle will not pass inspection come April. I keep saying that we're only going to be keeping bubbles till April, but that subframe is about a $400 price tag used. Also, remember, we've got the cab corners or rockers starting right here. It's worse on the other side. So it's gonna be a little bit of metal work there if we wanna do that as well. So again, I don't really know how much I wanna put into this old thing. Um, we set an initial budget of about 500 bucks, but we got a few issues of safety that we have to get, that we're concerned about with the brakes. And very, very soon we're gonna have a safety issue with the subframe and the rockers as well. So all we're trying to do for now is get us through to April. When April comes, we'll reevaluate and see what we're gonna do. So one thing that I'm realizing right now is that in order to get this brake rotor off, I'm going to have to take the wheel spacer because the hub will stay separate attached to the vehicle when that rotor comes off. So i got to go find some red Loctite and uh, that way we can put those back on there and not have any issues. Now most of the time these rotors have uh, screws that kind of hold these into place. I see these ones are gone. That one's gone and that one's actually broken at some point. So this, in theory, should just slide right off. And look at that. So it doesn't take long to see what's going on with these emergency brakes. We've got the brake shoes with no material on them at all. So when you go to pull the emergency brake inside, it's simply not doing anything. Also, we've got some rusty springs in there. And this self-adjuster, which our kit comes with a new one anyway, uh, is, not, is not moving at all. So we're going to have to take everything apart here. And I think probably the easiest way to get at it all is to... Uh, is to take this hub assembly right off and then that way we can get uh, get working in there. So I'm going to check and see what's going on or what's involved. Well, well, well. Oh yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. So part of the issue here is this little pivot point at the end of the emergency brake cable. There's a pivot right here and it's rusty and it swells up. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna start beating and banging on that so that that works in hopes that 
the return spring will let everything go when you release the brake. So this is that pivot that hooks onto your emergency brake. So this thing basically sits inside, this thing sits inside the, uh, the brake, just like this. This piece goes through the backing plate down here and hooks onto your cable so that when you pull your cable, like so, it moves this pivot here and engages or spreads out the brake shoes. The problem with this was it was seized up so it wasn't moving from this position. And as you can see, she's all freed up there now. So let's reverse this process and get her back together. So in some applications when you take your brake shoes out of the package, you want to identify whether or not there's a left and a right side as far as which way they go onto the drum because some shoes are a little bit longer some have different recesses in them on this particular vehicle every shoe is identical so you just got to make sure one's facing one way one's facing the other that's how they're going to go on there we just got to get a couple of springs in place to hold them up there okay so after messing with this thing for several minutes uh, we finally were able to figure out what was going on the pins that hold these retainers in here. The original one that came out that's rusty was quite a bit shorter than the one that came with the kit. So what I ended up doing was I ended up finding some washers to put on the back side here to kind of space it out a little bit. And it held just enough tension to hold those brake uh, shoes on there. So everything is in there. Uh, we're gonna put the hub back on and check and make sure that everything is clearance and set up properly so that when we adjust, when we pull that brake on, that everything's going to spring out the way it should be. Everything seems to spin up freely right there. I'm going to see if I can reach inside and pull that emergency brake and see if it's actually going to hold here. Well, that's a good sign. Emergency brake is up and those brakes seem to be holding. So now we're going to release the emergency brake and see if the uh, wheels will release. We are gaining some traction here today, boys. So we're gonna start putting things back together on this side. I'll go over to the other side and do the same thing. I'm not gonna bother showing you all of that because everything is virtually the same. So we'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so we have got the emergency brakes working on bubbles. Finally, a little bit of fine tuning because uh, when I pull it up, it will stop it, but it's very weak. So just a little bit of adjustment on those self adjusters and we should have it back to normal. It wouldn't be the holiday season if I wasn't doing something holiday related. So as you can see behind me right here, I'm wrapping gifts. So. Um, Mama is upstairs, she's not feeling well today, so she is just kind of up there relaxing and I told her, stay up there because I am going to wrap your gifts. So, as we finish off this video, guys, I've said it in the beginning, I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you're not into the whole Christmas, happy, merry, Christmassy, whatever, then happy holidays to you and yours and I hope that you guys all have a safe one. So guys, thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing on this video and I hope that you will continue to spread the word to all your friends because the contest for 1,000 subscribers and a grand prize of $1,000 cash is still on. That means you personally could win a thousand bucks. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Merry Christmas and we'll see you in the next upload. I'm going to leave you with a little bit of Christmas music and this Christmas wrapping montage. God rest ye merry gentlemen.